What is the difference between truth and lies? And are you able to recognize that difference? Are you able to recognize who tells the truth and who... What, the, what are the symptoms of a person who tells the truth and a person who habitually does not tell the truth? That's an important question. I mean, that's more important than to be or not to be. To be or not to be is something you ask in a desperate moment for maybe a course of a m number of minutes at a time. And then you either resolve the question either by pulling the trigger or, you know, cutting, cutting your wrists or putting the gun down and putting the razor down and deciding, okay, you're going to go on. You're going to go on s suffering the slings and arrows of outrageous fortune. But that's basically all that outrageous arrow stuff is about enduring lies again. Hamlet was complaining about how so much that you have to deal with in society is lies. You have to constantly deal with all these people who are liars. And that's what happened with his parents. Well, not his parents, his mother and her boyfriend, who I think was his uncle, but I'm not sure. Um, the guy who killed his father and then took his place with his mother, they were lying. They they were they had killed their father and then they were trying to pretend that they didn't hadn't and they cared so much and they were so sorry that he died. And they were liars and Hamlet knew it and that was the basic conflict of the story of Hamlet was he was dealing in a society full of liars. And he asked himself how much more of this could he take? Is it worth continuing to try to fight these bastards? Or do you just shrug it off? Or, 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 do, you, or do you just say, no, it's not worth it. I can't shrug it off, but I, I don't want to go on having to f argue with a bunch of liars. I'd rather just end it all. That's That was the question. That was the question, to be or not to be. Was it, the to be or not to be was a question of, is it worth having to continually fight and argue against people who are habitual pathological liars? That was really at, at the root of what Hamlet's soliloquy was about. Was it worth having to go day after day, the never-ending battle for truth, justice, and the Danish way? Because that's what it comes down to. Is a day, life is a daily process of having to deal with the habitual congenital pathological liars. They never go away. And you cannot kill them off. If you try to kill them off, most likely they will kill you because they're good at that sort of thing. And they don't have any compunctions. They don't have any qualms about killing. It's only the honest people who have qualms about killing. The dishonest lying bastards have no problem with killing anybody that comes against them. And that was the question of Hamlet. I'm willing to say that Hamlet was really about the question of honesty. How many people are capable of even recognizing the difference between an honest person and a dishonest person? And yet we trust we trust the country and the world to the political choices of candidates that the average person makes. The average person isn't capable of, not only isn't capable of distinguishing between somebody telling the truth and somebody telling the lie, the average person prefers the liar. That's what it, that's what it really boils down to. The average, ordinary person has a preference for the lies that are told by liars and has a preference for the attitude and mentality of the liars and are willing to side against those people telling the truth even if it's for their own good, even if it's to save their lives. They'll continue to hurl accusations and call the person who's telling the truth, call that person a liar while supporting the lying person and calling them a truth teller. That's the reality of our society. That's the reality of why the notion of a democracy, of everybody having a vote, an equal vote, is um, not necessarily the greatest idea that has ever been come up with in the history of the world. 
Because what happens is we end up getting these lying politicians elected because the average person isn't capable of distinguishing between lies and truth and actually prefers lies. So in that way, it's practically inevitable that the politicians are going to be crooks and liars. But that is the ongoing question, day after day, for all of us. Not just for those people in extreme circumstances of considering suicide, but for every one of us, every day of our life. The question is, can you tell the difference between lies and truth, and do you care? Do you prefer the truth, or do you actually prefer lies? That's your question. That is the question. That is the ongoing question of who and what we are. How do we approach our lives? Do you know the difference between truth and lies? And do you, do you actually prefer lies or truth?